Okay, hello everybody and welcome. Today we will be unboxing G.I. Joe classified action figures. Today we have uh, Rock and Roll, uh, what's his name? Tunnel Rat, Lady J, and Spirit. Cool. All right. Uh, it has been a while since I unboxed uh, action figures, so I'm sorry about that. Now, this is a live stream on Twitch, um, so please feel free to fast forward to uh, any part that you like. And then if you want and you enjoyed, you know, come back to the beginning and stay for the rest of the, con of, well, the conversation. Yeah. And please join me sometime in the future on Twitch when, uh, when I stream. So, um, you know, you could join in. We could chat about action figures. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, this is the live stream. I'll also be editing and posting the individual unboxings. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. All right, let me, uh, let me make sure the stream is running. Going to channel, title and category are good. Hello, hello, hello. Title and category are good. Hello, hello. Okay, microphone seems to be working. Let me send out a few notifications. Share tube here. And share to here. All right, awesome. Cool. All right, so let's see. Which one do we unbox first, everyone? Mm. Let's go with the uh, rock and roll. Okay. We'll unbox rock and roll here. Now rock and roll was one of the original, oh, focus, was one of the original G.I. Joe team. I think the original eight or nine figures. Um, he is the heavy machine gunner. I believe story-wise, I think he was like a, a California surfer dude or something. So pretty cool. He's got that that big M60 machine gun. Cool. All right, GI Joe, Craig, Rock and Roll McConnell. Uh, QR code, which everybody says doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Cool artwork. Nice. All right, let's unbox. Da, da, da. Oh, okay. Let's tilt this down. There we go. Da, 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 da. Just unboxing action figures live on stream. Cool. Oh man, I got on. I have so much, so many figures I have to unbox. The boxes are taking up too much space. I have to get rid of them. So yeah, but, you know, don't just throw them in the trash. You could recycle all this cardboard and stuff. All right. Cool, we got the rock and roll foot locker. We got our figure. Oh, do we need, we need scissors. Hold on, let me grab some scissors. the chat ask any questions that's what we're here for if you're new to figures or haven't collected any in ever or want to know what GI Joe is all about so I used to collect GI Joe figures the original ones I think they came out late 80s and man, there was no other toy line like it. I don't even think... Star Wars was big. 
But man, the G.I. Joe line, just the stuff they produced for it was amazing. All right. Cool. We got all this, uh, man, I really like the artwork for that. I don't want to throw this out, but I have to. <laughs> Boxes take up too much room. All right. Recycle, please. Man, look at badass. Why is it so blurry? Hold on. Let me grab a... Let me see if I could clear. Maybe the camera is... Needs a little bit of cleaning. Okay, I think that did it. Yeah. Camera just needed a little wipe. Because we're filming on the iPad, so maybe my fingerprints got all over it. Man, look how badass. Rock Holy tattoo. Well, that's something. What kind of tattoo is that? Fudge. That is insane. Is that a skull? Oh, it's like a koi fish. Hey, look at this. Man, that is awesome. Look at that. So you got the belt ammo, is that loose? Yeah, look at that. They actually draped some ammo belt on them. I love the detail and then all the holsters and stuff. Oh, fudge. Is that? No, that's supposed to be like that. Cool. I was like, you got a problem? Huh? <laughs> all right, let's, let's get the accessories. I like how they put them in like a little foot locker. The only thing is I don't even save these. A, like I said, the boxes take up way too much room. Okay, this is caution stuff that you don't need to read. Basically, don't chew on the figures. Don't swallow the pieces. <laughs> don't do anything kids do. Recycle. And I love the packaging, man. They go all out. Look at that. Seal, they didn't even have to print the G.I. Joe and Cobra logos on this, but they did. It's premium, man. Okay, let's make sure we get all the pieces out. Right. Make sure everything's out, because one time I, I left the piece in there, I almost threw it away. Okay. Cool. Let's get rid of that dust. Jeez, what is that? Oh. oh, they put cardboard there to keep it from uh, warping. How do I open that? I got scissors. I got scissors. See? Scissors. Cool. So did it work? Did it not warp? Yeah, it's pretty straight. Sometimes you get a gun and then it's all warped. See, because it's like, you know, thermoplastic and then sometimes heat. And then like when it's in the packaging, it'll like end up bending and then not look right. The way to fix that, like I said, is a thermoplastic. You just uh, microwave some water, make it hot, dunk it in, straighten it out and then run it under cold water to, to freeze the plastic in place. Cool, I like that it has a bipod. Although I wish it was in black. Uh, hands, tattoos on the hand. The hell is that? Oh man, that's a skull thing. Oh, I know what this is for. I know what this is for. <laughs> You go like that with the skull mouth. Yeah. Man, the G.I. Joe guys, the designers are insane. Helmet, I like that they modernized the helmet. What does that say? Hang 10. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy was a surfer dude. Uh, more ammo. Pistol. Cool. Let's put the pistol. See, I like the Jejo figures. They 
And they have places to stow the gear. And it's like, you know, at least to us, it's like realistic. Cool. What's this? Walkie talkie. Where does the walkie talkie go? Um, there, I guess? <laughs> Let's peg. Fudge. Sorry I'm wearing gloves, but I got them ugly hands. I'm sure you don't want to look at ugly hands. That costs extra. <laughs> oh man, that's goofy. I think it goes there, but then the antenna gets in the way. Fudge. All right. What else? Helmet. Or his cover. Where's your cover, soldier? It's on my head, sir. Carry on. All right. Ah, oh, that's badass. Nice. Man, he got stowage all over himself. All right. Hands. We don't, let's not mess with the hands right now. Mm, okay. This. We got a box mag. How do we install? Ah, I see. I see. Yeah. This is the uh, real time unboxing. So, trying to figure it out. Cool. All right. Then we got this piece. How does that? Fudge, I should have put the. All right, all right. Uh, I mean, it's flexible, so. Come on. Oh, wait, is the bullets going the right way? Fudge, it was not. I feel like. I feel like it's not going the right way. Is it supposed to feed this way? Oh, yeah, it is supposed to feed that way. Because, uh, empty. See? But we gotta get it in. How do we fudge? Okay, you know what? Put it all the way in as much as possible. Then slide that in like that. Then clip it there. See? Problem solved. Yeah. All right, these are looking a little floppy, but what do you do? You know, you need a bipod. All right. Uh, oh man, it just falls, this falls apart. Uh, okay, try that again. Okay, let's just hold that down. Let's get, oh, we have to uh, loosen the the fingers. So what I do is I get the tweezers and then uh, just work the loosen the rubber. So then it's easier to place the gun in there because otherwise that kung fu grip Difficult to Okay, well how do we straighten the arm? Oh fudge. Okay. 
Let's go with zero trigger discipline. Why does it keep unattaching? Okay, let's put the arm out. Fudged fingers, pain in the neck. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 bum. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta bend things. Just I do recommend you have to make sure things are not breakable, though. There we go. Okay. Zero trigger discipline. <laughs> okay, because you never, unless you're intending to fire right away, you don't put your finger in the trigger guard. Well, at least that's my understanding. I never fired. Well, no, I have fired a, I fired a twenty two rifle on a uh, dude ranch trip school trip once all right cool what does the other hand there gotta be a better hand than that hmm this is a fist so we don't need a fist you know what let's let's switch out the uh the well you know what hand that is uh, sometimes these are tough to, and I'm always afraid it's going to break. Oh man, his, uh, his wristband is bullets. Okay. All right. Seated. Oh, he has tattoos on this arm too. He got tattoos all over. Look at this. Yeah, man. <laughs> this dude is insane. Oh, uh, how do we get it to? It's like right. I guess you have to turn his head like this, and be like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Joker. Oh man, that's badass. Look, I got my eye on you, man. Fudge, stand out of tension, soldier. Oh man, these, this is loose. We have to put that way up there. Cool. This, you know, you don't really need this. You could put it in there and then, if you don't want to use the box mag, but I think I prefer it. It's a little more realistic than, oh, fudge, it's, okay, hold on, hold on. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get a figure stand. Where did I put my stands? Ah, uh, I don't have matching ones, but these will do. Oh, no, we we have. I got the clear ones. So the stands that I found work really well on G.I. Joe figures are the NECA, NECA stands. So I got clear NECA and I got the, the black plastic one. So, oh yeah, it's upside down, NECA. Da -da -da. All right, let's stand the figure up. 
See, because all figures are made different, the little, little peg holes at the bottom. And then some stands just don't fit. But these NECA ones, they fit really well. But getting them to stand is sometimes an issue. What's wrong with your feet, man? Oh, he's leaning too far back, that's why. Wish it wouldn't be such an issue. So when I was a kid, I had the original rock and roll one. And his whole uniform was all green. But it looks like he's wearing like, a, you know, like sportswear. <laughs> or like military sportswear. But I... I saw a picture that they're coming out with a retro version. They'll be in the all green. Why does it not clip in correctly? It keeps wanting to lean all the way back. Maybe we gotta straighten his uh, his leg. There we go. All right, let's, let's lower the thing and then take a look at him again. Move all this dust. Bum, bum, bum. So I'm liking, he looks great. Oh, fudge. Can we lower this more? Apparently not. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, he looks dang cool. Awesome. Let me drink something, hold on. So yeah, that's rock and roll. Now I had the original one, all green uniform. This one, is wearing a t-shirt. Let me look at the box. Cause the box looked like it was all green. Yeah, they must have changed it at some point. Cause look, and look. Oh no, his shirt is does have that tan color, but it's more. It's darker than on the actual figure. Oh yeah, the original was all, all green. The heavy machine gun. This is one of my favorites back in the day. How come I can't lower the stand? Oh, okay. So the tripod can't go lower. But that's fine. It looks super cool. Now the detail is amazing. There's just so many pouches bullet things the paint for the tattoos is really good let's see is there camo i don't think there is but that's fine because then it would be too busy the m60 looks great like i'm glad there's a box mag here watch i'm gonna have to fix that but i'm glad there's a a bipod so that you could display it you got the walkie-talkie. That's don't know why a heavy machine gunner would need a, a walkie-talkie, but that's fine. A lot of a lot of neat details. Articulation is standard GI Joe. Um, there is it does look like there's a butterfly joint for even more articulation. There's a peg for a backpack, but you don't need one because he's already carrying a lot of gear. Really cool. Just look at this guy. Freaking awesome. Oh, <laughs> and just that hand alone. He going chaka bra. Man, that's crazy. Awesome. 
how do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments. Man, that took a while to unbox. All right, 25 minutes. Okay. What do we unbox next? Hmm. All right. Let's look at our options here. I think I want to finish with either Spirit or Tunnel Rat. So let's do Lady J. All right. Uh, let's put... Rock and roll over there. Let's get Lady J here. Okay. Let's put these figures. Cool. All right. Let me move. Let's look at this. Oh, let me uh raise the tripod again for the iPad. Let's go down this way. All right, Lady J. I did not have the original Lady J figure. I didn't have any Lady J figure. But she always, she was in maybe the second wave of figures. Or no, maybe the third wave. And then like, I did not understand who she was. <laughs> because like her gear was, she had a, like spears. And then I believe she came with a, uh, what do you call it? A video camera, video camera recorder, which in this they have a modern one attached to, I guess, her head or, or her backpack or something. And I was like, what, what, what MOS is this, man? So I believe she was like military intelligence or either like, you know, like a CIA attache, you know, with the with the GI Joe team, which would explain like her kind of wearing the cap and stuff. It's kind of cool they have her cap. But yeah, this has got the Joe Pro. <laughs> oh man, it's one of the older figures, so uh, it was like a thing they had. Uh, when they were doing G.I. Joe Classified. But yeah, it's such a weird uh, character. I never understood. Yeah, I guess military intelligence. Like, but with like a spear for some reason. <laughs> so that's why I never got the original figure. But it's pretty cool. Look at this. Man, I wish they have a poster of this artwork. How many Joes and Cobras can you name? Are you new to uh, G.I. Joe? Have you been an old time fan? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Duke, Beachhead, Rock and Roll. Man, I need a rock and roll figure, but the, the one I wanted is out of print. Gung Ho, Lady J with a spear and a camera. I don't know, I don't understand that gear set. Uh, Falcon, Lieutenant Falcon, right? I think this Falcon or who is his brother? Man, sometimes I forget the names. Zartan. I really wish they would reissue that figure because I missed out. Beachhead over here. There's a dragonfly. They just came out with that helicopter, but it's way too expensive. I think it's like over three hundred dollars. Cobra Commander, Destro, Baroness, Firefly. Some Cobra Viper troops. Major Blood. That's another one I missed out on that they need to uh, reissue. Because it's out of print. And then I looked for it. And on Amazon, it's like $90. That's crazy. I will not pay $90 for Major Blood. But that was one of my fi favorite figures back in the day when I was a kid. One of my classmates. Oh my God. What the heck was her name? Christine or Christina for our, what was it? Maybe seventh grade, maybe seventh grade um, Secret Santa in class. She gave me that figure, the original one. Pretty awesome. I forgot who, who my Secret Santa was and what I gave them, but pretty awesome. And then some Alley Vipers. Yeah, cool. Man, G.I. Joe stuff is just so nostalgic for me. All right, Lady J. 
<laughs> Let's uh, unbox. So I use, uh, I use tweezers to cut the tape because they're kind of pointy. Where's the tape on these ones? There. Boop. I don't want to use an X-Acto knife because I am super clumsy and I know I'll end up cutting myself. All right. Boom, boom, boom. I don't save the boxes. The only box I did save though was the uh, Cover Girl one, just because it has that anime art. All right. Don't forget to recycle. And on the, if you didn't know, on these, these backgrounds come out, and then you could save. You could save this if you want but you could just throw it out. But the Cobra one is really nice. Like you cut it out and have a Cobra logo. Cool. Okay, just recycle all that. All right, Lady J, let's pop out the figure. This was the packaging that had like a lot of plastic. If you notice on the the earlier one we unboxed, Rock and Roll, uh, the packaging was all paper and cardboard, which is nice, but you couldn't see the figure. A lot of uh, accessories here. They're all held in by tape, so they're a little difficult to remove. But you know what? This is how real world unboxings are. And you can recycle this plastic too. What are these spear tips? Oh no, that's nothing. <laughs> oh, there's a knife. Oh man, okay. Hold on, let me use the tweezers to get that out. Because it's covered in tape. needs to be wait is there something in there no there isn't ah fudge keep knocking into things okay i believe these are like the spear tips i'm gonna end up losing something for sure Fudge. Dang it. Where is it? Okay. I think I got everything. Yeah, it looks about right. All right. Except for plastic. I mean, a uh, tape. So let's see how she looks. She looks cool. This stuff's a little loose, but that's okay. Now, apparently Lady J didn't sell very well. Now, G.I. Joe classified figures are normally retails for $25. But I found this at a discount store, uh, Ollie's, for I think 11 10 or 11 bucks. Pretty cool. Good discount. I guess it wasn't so popular. This one you have to align the hole with the that back hole for the backpack. What does she have up here? Maybe that's like some kind of military intelligence unit. All right, what do we got here? I do not know what that is. Fudge. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, let's figure out her weapons. Spear tips, right? 
you have to excuse me for being clumsy because the way I'm doing it is I'm looking through the iPad screen. There we go. See? Spear. I don't know why they made that a separate piece. Well, I don't know why they just didn't mold it together. <laughs> But that's what I'm here to do is to unbox and show you the out of box experience. Cool. It's such a weird weapon set. Knife, where does the knife go? This is what I like about G.I. Joe figures is there's always a place for every piece of gear. Cool. All right. Mm. Backpack with the cameras. Now, if I recall, you can take one of the spears, right? And clip it here. Cool. It's a neat backpack, but yeah, I like it. Oh, is this where you attach this? I can't tell. No, I don't understand what this is. Let me look at the, let me look at the box. Um, oh, there is no picture on the box. Hmm. If you know, uh, for those of you watching on uh, YouTube, let me know in the comments what that is. All right, let's figure this out. Um, I think there was another piece of gear here. Here it is. What's this? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. So I guess this plugs in there. Let me take a look up close. Oh, I'm going to have to look it up online. Maybe that's what that is, but I really can't tell what this weapon is. Look at this. So is that the way it goes? Like I said, I never understood her gear. Maybe it's a grapple gun, like a grappling hook. Could be, who knows? All right, let's get our cap on. Oh, that is a, uh, what the? So our hair is back here. So how does that work? Do you have to remove her hair? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So there is a separate piece. And then you could put the cap on. See, you discover new things. I did not know this about this. I think she looks way better with the cap. She looks like, um, remember Ripley from Aliens? Sigourney Weaver? She looks kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, she looks, to me, she looks very uh, CIA. CIA attache. And it's like, who's that? Oh, it's a spook. Don't, you know, don't ask questions. Just follow orders. The joints are kind of floppy and loose. 
But, I mean, it stays where it is, but it, to me it just feels super loose. All right, let's get the backpack on. Uh, here, and then you have to thread it through. There we go. So she's got that camera light here to send back intel. And she is, I don't like this gun. Is there a place to stow it? Stow it, dude. Okay, no. Uh, I guess that isn't the place for all, all the gear, but then uh, I really don't care for this thing. Let's just give her the other spear. Because that's, that's the weapon she's known for in like the cartoons and stuff, is just having a spear. You know, what for whatever reason, a modern military person would need to use a spear. Oh, we have to loosen the grip. Loosen the Kung Fu grip. So that's what I use. You just get some tweezers, wrap it around the fingers, and just work it so then it, it loosens. All right. There we go. Oh, let's put it back here and then fudge. We're going to have to do that with the other finger. Okay. Can we? Fudge. How do we? Oh man, there we go. Uh, let's put it like this and like this. Then spear, military spear, MOS. I don't know. Where's the? See, I. They place the hole in different places sometimes. I don't understand why it's not at the heel. Okay, and then see when they when they put it on the front part of the foot, they never put it deep enough because there isn't enough space to put it. All right, let's. Man, do I love G.I. Joe figures. They look freaking awesome. So, all right, let's let's do... All right, I think she looks cool. Very Sigourney Weaver. You know, I just don't understand the, the gear she has for whatever reason. Uh, kind of cool that you could have the hairpiece or the hat, the cap. Uh, this weapon, I don't care mu too much for. Uh, for whatever reason, the spears are actually cooler than that. Uh, backpack is cool with the little camera. Holster for the dagger is cool. I like that there's also space for a second spear in the back. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so my allergies are bothering me slightly. So I gotta, I gotta blow my nose. So I'm gonna mute the mic for a little bit. All right, I'll be
All right, we are back. Let me drink something first. Okay, now we're back. Oh man, I had a coughing fit. Alright, 46 minute stream. Okay. Yeah, G.I. Joe figures, because of all the accessories, which are great, take a, take a little more time to unbox. Like Marvel figures, I can unbox four Marvel figures in less than, a, less than an hour. Because they don't come with much. Like, they don't even come with extra hands or, you know, barely any accessories. Because I guess superheroes, you know, they don't have guns in general or, like, a lot of gear. You know, they're just, <laughs> they got their fists to punch people. Yeah. So, we unboxed Rock and Roll, Lady J. How do you like those figures? Let me know in the comments. Let's go for, who are we going to do next? Mm. Let's unbox Tunnel Rat. Yeah. It looks like he has, like, does he have a sniper rifle or a, another M60? Like rock and roll. Cool. Alright, let's move this slightly to the side. Yeah. Alright, let's get, let's get Tunnel Rat. Alright, let's move this up again and then down. Oh. And look at the figure. G.I. Joe classified series. Tunnel rat. Oh, they don't give his name? Okay. Look at that. Cool. He's one of the few Asian characters which which I like, so. <laughs> Is that a Tunnel Rat logo? Nice. It's part of the Tunnel Rat unit. Cool. So I never had the original Tunnel Rat figure. I know he didn't come with the, the night vision goggles. But I think a lot of this other gear he did in the, in the original figure. Pretty cool. Ha! He's 152 millimeters. Man, okay. <laughs> Man. How, how tall is that? 152. I'll figure it out. How much is 152 millimeters in feet and inches? Here's what I found. Uh. One hundred fifty-two. Uh, Jesus, one fifty-two millimeters in feet. The answer is zero point five feet. Do I have that right? No way. Oh, that's the size of the figure. Man, I thought it was the height of the character. Okay, you know what? I don't know metric. I don't know metric. <laughs> oh man, that made me look so dumb. Yeah. Alright. So, tunnel rats, uh, if you didn't know, they, they, in, in the US military, they, they go underground in tunnels and dark places to, to scout. What is that gun? It's like a sniper rifle, but why would a tunnel rat need a sniper rifle? They should have gave him a shotgun. 
instead. Which is probably what I'll... I'll find like a shotgun from another character and give it to him. Because this doesn't make any sense. Unless he's supposed to like... Use tunnels, infiltrate, and then... Get way behind enemy lines, and then snipe people. Alright. Unboxing time. Cool. I, I do like these. <laughs> you know, it's like their little coffins. It's just messed up. But it's a cool way to store the figure. And then they got the uh, the uh, Foot Locker. That's kind of why I, I like this packaging more than the one with the plastic window. And the But the problem is, what ended up happening is... Sometimes he, people would open the figure and then steal the figure out and then put something of equal weight in here and then return it back to the store. You know, like a dollar store figure or something and put in there or like just garbage. And then, unknowns to you, unknowns, <laughs> unknown to you, <laughs> you would buy the figure and when you get home, it's like you didn't get what you paid for. So that's the thing with uh, uh, the closed packaging. So having the window package to see that everything is there uh, was, you know, it was a little more uh, reliable when you bought the figure. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have to cut. Oh, <laughs> this one isn't 100% plastic free. They got these little plastic tags. The other one had a little paper, paper ropes, right? I think we can cut them from here. Okay. It's like I'm doing a, because I'm looking through the iPad screen. So it's like I'm doing the, uh, you know that robotic, surgery that us surgeons do what do we have to clip on the arms here it is so i'm looking through the ipad screen which is cool because it magnifies it a little bit there we go i think that's all okay cool I love that artwork, man. That's really cool. Tunnel rat. Unfortunately, now we got all these little plastic things. Okay. Let's put that here. It's like a throw, throw away the waste later. Let's look at the figure. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> Ammo belt needs to be stowed better. Ton all right. It's got Joe Pro up there. Looks like he has a uh, either a uh, smoke grenade or a flashbang. Oh, it looks like more like a smoke grenade. It's got are these tattoos? Probably ta no. It might be just the face paint. Yeah, he might probably put face paint and then put some on his arms too. Cool. His uniform is just weird to me. He's got like dungarees, but I guess that would be, no, like maybe sturdier for like tunnel crawling. He's got his tunnel rat logo here, his unit badge, Joe Pro. What is this? He's got a bandana, neckerchief. He looks cool. Uh, why is this so loose? It needs to. Uh, yeah. He's just got too much stuff hanging off him. You know what? And an, an actual real tunnel rat wouldn't have that much gear on him. 
because it would he would get caught up on stuff you know like it would just snag on when he has to crawl through spaces so yeah i don't know i mean still looks cool all right did they not put his name there yeah tunnel rat Man, he's got a lot of uh, stuff. Okay. Too bad it, I don't save these, but you know, just recycle. Um, it's like opening up like candy or something. Gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Make sure nothing's in there. Okay. Cool. That is a heavy backpack. It's like solid too. It's gigantic. I swear Tunnel Rat wouldn't carry this much stuff. All right. Plus he's got a satchel bag. What gun is this? It has, has a bipod too, so and a big scope. So it's like some kind of sniper rifle. But no, you know what? It's like a Browning. It's it's a machine gun. Cause like, why would you need this air thing? If you were only firing one shot. I'm just gonna call it a it's probably like uh it's probably like a fifty cal sniper rifle. <laughs> oh man. Like what was that? A Barrett? It's probably like a Barrett. Cool. I like the bot pod because you could just keep the stuff there like that. Oh no, here well oh, fudge. Box bag. Where does it go? What the heck is that? Is that where this goes? Oh, it does. All right. So the box bag goes at the bottom. Do I have it going the right way? Yeah, let's, let's just say it is. Okay, cool. Mm, what else do we have? We got flashlights. Those weird military flashlights that are bent like this. So you could hold it out and then it flashes that way instead of having to tilt your hand. I believe, did, weren't you supposed to? Yeah, you could put them here. I believe that's how it goes. So I didn't have this this figure either when I was a kid. Okay. It's a bit snug. But yeah, that's the way it goes. How come there's like an indentation? It looks like it's for that, like it was on the other side. But it doesn't have one of those. Okay. That's fine. Uh, what do we got here? He's got a revolver. Interesting. Where do you put his revolt fudge? You, all your stuff is kind of out of whack there, Tunnel Rat. 
Let's get the knife. Squared away. Is that the right way? Yeah, is it this way? All right, sheathed. Ah, pistol here. Revolver. Revolver Ocelot from Metal Gear Solid. Jeez, that's a big, I guess, hand cannon. I don't like how this keeps doing that. There has to be something that keeps it in place, right? Uh, do I like this thing? I don't know if I like the night vision, but it might as well. Oh man, he's like, uh, what was that character in Splinter Cell? I forgot the name of the character. I wonder how this works, like with the four directions. Is it so you can move your eyes to the sides and look in, in multiple directions? I guess, right? It's so, so wild. I'm gonna have to look that up and see how that works. Cause I know they have these things. All right, what do we do now? Jesus, really? How, how much more stuff can you carry, dude? This guy, this guy brought everything. This guy, Tanarat man. He's a boy scout, he came prepared. Always prepared. Got that satchel, satchel charge. Hold on a moment. Da -da -da. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, backpack, fudge, look at this tangled mess. I just don't understand why they put this much stuff on them. I feel like I just wanna put less stuff on them and like remove, but you know, for the unboxing, you gotta put everything on them. But when I display them, I'm probably just going to remove most of this because it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> How can we, can we pose them like kneeling? I just got that drop down hip. I feel like a kneeling pose is like the thing he would, uh, do fudge he's way too much stuff on him <laughs> do you agree with me oh man in the chat fudge look at that tangle even his scarf is in the way head looking up oh man his head has no it only turns left and right it doesn't tilt up okay let's get him on a base Okay. Ooh, 
He's looking badass. Oh, let me get him in frame. How do I do a kneeling pose? How do you do that? Like, how does a foot kneel? Do you put it to the side like that a bit? Dang it, I wish the peg would. with me please it's got to be something like that all right let's put him back here no he's looking wonky there you know what let's Let's not put him in the kneeling pose. It's too much, too much hassle. Okay. I feel all this gear is so heavy on him. And like you, the backpack, when, when you get this figure, that backpack is heavy. It's a solid chunk of plastic. You know, I think it just doesn't fit in that foot peg very well. Let me just try the other foot. Yeah, you know what it is? It's his backpack is so heavy that it keeps tilting him back. So we're gonna have to hunch him forward. It's a big flaw for this figure, but you know, it's the way they made it. I mean, I do appreciate all the accessories. You get your money's worth. He's just going to keep falling over. This is going to be like another bazooka situation. I'm going to have to bend his knee a little. I need to get a different stand. Yeah, like they have stands that clip the feet. And I think that would be better for this particular figure. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that's, a, that's as best as I can get them. Okay, let's get our squad together. All right, that's Tunnel Rat. He's got way too much gear. What do you guys think? Eh, he, he looks cool. I You just need to put less gear on him, and then he'll be even better. I think he looks good without the goggles, but, you know... For fun, it's there. Let me know in the comments. All right, so we have unboxed Rock and Roll, uh, Lady J, and Tunnel Rat. Um, let's see. Now we got to unbox Spirit. I think he has his eagle, too. Which is uh, Freedom, I think. <laughs> Spirit and Freedom. That was one of my favorites. I think my sister liked that figure too. My sister liked all the figures that came with uh, little animal companions. Like Snake Eyes came with a wolf named Timber. Uh, there's Mutt and Junkyard, the canine unit. Uh, and then there's also Law and Order, which was another uh, military police canine unit. Who else came with uh, animals? I didn't have a lot of them, but yeah, a lot of a lot of Joe figures and even Cobras had had little pets that accompanied them. Awesome! All right, so let's unbox Spirit now.
cool. Now Spirit is their uh, tracker, recon reconnaissance tracking person, American Indian character. Yeah, so he was in tune with nature and exploring the wilderness. Well, let's look at that sniper rifle. Jeez. I think I like this one better than Tunnel Rats. Look at that knife. Really cool. And then you have uh, Freedom. Oh, look at the artwork. Cool. G.I. Joe. Spirit Iron Knife. Cool. Okay, let me raise this up a bit. Um, oh, back. So the back, we have different artwork from, why is it not focusing? There we go. Different artwork from what we had before. Oh, who is that? This is the Arashikage uh, symbol. That was the clan that uh, Snake Eyes trained under to be a ninja. That's, okay, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. They were best friends and they were in the Vietnam War. Uh, and they trained under, I guess that's the Hard Master. There's a Hard Master and the Soft Master that trained both of them. And then what, I think s somebody killed the Hard Master, right? And then Storm Shadow blamed Snake Eyes, and Snake Eyes blamed Storm Shadow, and then they became mortal enemies. Yeah. Oh, as far as uh, animal friends, this is Croc Master. He's one of the bad guys, and he has like a crocodiles. <laughs> Zartan, Baroness, these are bad guys on this side. Destro, Firefly, Major Blood, Cobra Commander. And on this side, we have Duke, who is second in command of the G.I. Joe team uh, under General Hawk. General Hawk would be the main person, but, you know, he's a general. He, he doesn't go. Before, when he was a colonel, he, he was, you know, he wouldn't go on the front lines. Uh, Spirit Tracker. Oh, man, I can't remember if that's Falcon or uh, what the heck is his brother's name. Lady J. Barbecue. I know, I didn't get Barbecue because I didn't understand him. He's basically the military firefighter. Yeah, so he has firefighting gear. Gung Ho. Oh, we got Clutch on the uh, Ram motorcycle. Who's that in the back? Beachhead. Uh, Roadblock, Scarlet. Cool. Oh man, so many memories. I love the G.I. Joe toy line. Okay, cool. Let's open that up. Where is... Okay, let's cut the tape. Where's the tape? Here. I don't save the boxes, so. If I was gonna save the boxes, I would use an X-Acto knife, but I'm really clumsy, so I'll end up cutting myself. Da -da -da. How come, oh, there's another piece of tape. Uh, here, there we go. So, like I said, you could pull out this. You don't have to save this, but the Cobra one I like because you could just cut it and you have a cool Cobra logo. And then the Snake Eyes movie figures have the Arashikage symbol on it, so I keep that. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no other reason. Just recycle this stuff. All right, Spirit. Let me uh, 
Oh man, those wings are huge. Cool. Freedom. Oh, he has different wings. Ah, cool. America. Mm. Backpack. Oh, I know what this is. That's a perch for uh, for freedom. Sniper rifle. Is it a little warped? Only a little bit. Knife. Pistol. I was uh cool. Hmm. Mm. Fudge. So here's another knife. How many knives do you need, our knife? I wish they had painted that. Uh, looks like. Okay, let me examine this to make sure I didn't miss anything. Sometimes you miss an accessory and then you end up throwing it out by accident. Yeah, it looks okay. Recycle. Man, Spirit looks dang cool. That's Joe Pro still. Looks like he's got a... Uh, that looks like a flashbang and not a smoke grenade. And then a regular grenade, I think? Hmm. Oh. These holes you could put a, uh, you could put freedom on there also. Yeah, I like his outfit. What is that? Hold on. What is that? I can't make out what the symbol is. Cool. I'll have to find out online. Looks like he's a sergeant. Cool. All right, where's the accessories? Okay, let's put freedom stuff together. Two wings. This. Got a knife. Big old Bowie. Pistol. Sniper rifle and the backpack. Cool. This is more sensible as a tracker than what freaking Tunnel Rat has. Okay, let's put this here. All right. Big old Bowie knife. Another knife here. This is his backup knife. <laughs> Fudge. Fudge. Imagine it goes like that. No? There we go. All right. Let's get these joints loosened up a bit. Okay. Does he have a butterfly joint? He does. So he could do like dynamic. He could like jump like and then kind of like stab somebody. He doesn't have extra hands though. So he can only do these uh 
grippy hands for guns. Uh, do we want to use that? Oh, let's loosen the f fingers. I'm always best to do that. So, what I do is just use some tweezers and then grip the hand grip and then just kind of loosen it. Try not to break it, but it's rubbery, so. Just so it's easier to put the accessories in. Fudge, did I break that? Oh, <laughs> oh man, I think I, I think I put a little tear in there. Okay, let's not do that again. Okay, only lightly, lightly, my friend. Fudge, I hope I didn't break my figure. Okay. You know the old G.I. Joe figures, sometimes the thumbs would break off. Okay, let's let's uh let's put the cool wings on him on freedom. So how do we remove this? We just there we go. So they're like ball jointed. Cool. Which would be the top? I think that's the top. Yeah. Oh man, that's gonna look awesome. Cool. Where's this pistol? I know it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's put the pistol. Stow your weapon, soldier. Okay, cool. Let's uh, do this a little. Something like this. Please don't break. Oh man, I'm so worried. Nah, it'll be all right. Okay. Okay, trigger discipline. That's good enough. All those fingers are too near the barrel. It's gonna scorch himself. All right. Mm. All right. Let me put these wings away. Well, freedom. I did see people pose this like this on online and it looks really great so there's the backpack and it goes like this so you get freedom's feet <laughs> he's got a little perch here oh i forgot yeah the one of the other ones is shipwreck and shipwreck has a uh he has a uh parrot kind of like a pirate oh come on Fit. Dang you. Why don't you fit? Oh, fudge. Welcome anyone who's currently watching me mess about with toys. 
We're getting this eagle here on his perch. Oh man, it's hard to get that plug. Okay, like that. And like that. And push. Oh, fudge, why is that one sticking out? Here we go. Get in there. They just won't go in at the same time. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, that's awesome. But he's going to be so off balance. Okay, let's go like this. All right. Spirit. Focus. Man, he looks really badass. Yeah, so Spirit is like the G.I. Joe tracker and scout. Mm. Okay, let's put the backpack on. What's this little... Why is there a little extra? Oh, I guess that's to put the... To hook the sniper rifle on? Yeah, it is. I think there's a little hole there. Oh, you could also put the eagle on this, this arm thing, which is cool. But let's put him on the... Ah, oh, fudge. Did I put him backwards? I put him backwards. Fudge! God dang it. I put him on backwards. <laughs> All that time. Okay, we got we got it this time. No, no. Fudge, put your feet. Rotate your foot. There we go. Can't believe we put him on backwards. Where's the hole? <laughs> this was... Any window. There we go. There we go. All right, he's going to look awesome. Okay. Let's put the backpack. Oh, man, that's badass. Look at that. He's got a... Oh, fudge. Just... Just messing with me. Really. We need him perfect. I don't know ever have to do this again. There we go. I see it. Oh man, he looks awesome. Okay. You know, that's just good enough. Let's put him on a base. All right, that's gonna look awesome. Okay. Let's lower the tripod. Oh man, that's so cool. Let's move them all a little bit. Closer together. Oh man, okay. Oh, fuck. Don't fall there, tunnel rat. I swear to God. Fudge, 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 fudge. I had it. I had it. And now we're losing it. Fudge. Almost had the end of the video. Don't turn the 
understand why his okay All right, I think we got our end shot. There we go. How's that for a G.I. Joe team? Whew. We've got Rock and Roll, Lady J, Tunnel Rat, and Spirit with Freedom. Awesome. Oh, man. Messing with G.I. Joe figures is the best. Super fun. All right, I do have more unboxings coming up. Probably if, if I could do it tomorrow morning, maybe I'll do it. If not, next week. But I got a lot more figures, and I got to get rid of all these boxes. Plus, I got to make all those YouTube shorts. So please look out in the future for when I post up YouTube shorts of these guys. And uh, please, if you're watching this, Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite figure. I think my favorite right now is... I really like Spirit. Spirit is really cool. But, man, rock and roll. Like, if I want, like, you know, real, like, soldier dude, rock and roll, just fudge. All right, Tunnel Rat. <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen. I'm not going to go fix them. But, yeah. All right. If you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. And to all my peacekeepers out there, I see Luke is lurking there. A big peacekeeper! Salute to all of you. Peace Angels in the chat. Oh, how do I do that? Oh. Peace Angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Man, that was G.I. Joe and Tunnel Rats taking a nap. <laughs> so I will unbox more soon, hopefully. All right. I'll see you all again next time. Peace, everyone. Good night. <laughs>